Good morning. Welcome to Moon's Apothecary and Tarot. Um, I am Moon, Moon Mama. My real name is Jennifer. If you haven't been here yet or you're new here, hi. I just started this and uh, <laughs> I fucking love it. I've actually been an intuitive reader for almost over a year now. It is really great. I enjoy, I enjoy it as much myself as I do for doing it like doing it for other people, giving them some reassurance and guidance on where they're <laughs> trying to be or where they want to be. Um, so yeah, you can book a reading at moons apothecary, moons-apothecary.com. Um, and you can check out my, um, my little small business of, uh, home curated products like my clear the room spray. Yes. Uh, I will be my own commercial. This, this video is brought to you by <laughs> Moon mama. <laughs> um, but I have a energy clearing spray and let's just we can go ahead and clear our area for today's tarot reading. Today is Monday. I fucking love Mondays. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Go ahead and gag. Go ahead and gag and roll your eyes, but time to clear the week, restart, clear the room. Clear that room, girl. Also, my Libra candle is out. Don't forget to go get your zodiac bundle or your zodiac candle. Just connect with yourself a little more. If this was the past, uh, the full moon in Libra. Just passed us, so I've got the Libra candle out. I swear it's not that hard to open. <laughs> um, look how beautiful that is. Smelling good as fuck. Let's fix that. And of course, they're all always 100% natural. Um, soy wax, wooden wicks, so that, um, you know, you can hear that little crackle, relax while it's, uh, while it's burning. I, I like the wooden wicks. I never heard of it until I started buying candle stuff, and then I was like, oh, I need that. All right, so, let's blow some good vibes into the day. <laughs> when that first hit touches your soul. <coughs> Alright, so how's everybody feeling? Last week was really wild, hectic, just a crazy ride for me. <coughs> I didn't think that I was going to make it through that. I don't know what was going on. My brain was like scrambled eggs the entire week. Alright, let's see. What does spirit got to say to us today? How we feeling? What is everybody? What, like, did everybody have a good weekend? It is Easter this past weekend? Nope, it was last weekend. It is... Where have I been? Holy shit. Also, don't forget to pick up... Um... Mm, what we got? What we got? Don't forget to pick up my... A sensory overload oil okay because that happens to me a lot especially like last week i was so manic and so weird and just felt so weird but i made an oil called uh calm your tits calm your tits calm it down inside and out okay <sighs> crazy mm. we've got some masculine energy popping up in here today a lot of cup energy Okay, to the low battery. Sorry about that. Um, so, like I said, we've got some masculine energy coming into my life. And with the Knight of Cups, I've got the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. And it looks like you've got, you've got people coming into your life. And you've got maybe a new romance starting. And you've got maybe... Um, got new friendships coming in you could be like on the fence about it you could be really um taken back by it because you could be um you could be feeling insecure you could be feeling a little less confident you could be like uh maybe you're not ready to socialize yet but maybe maybe you should be um nine of wands energy we've got you gotta take that guard down a little you gotta take that guard down a little and it's okay You've been through a lot, and it seems that you've lost a lot of friendships, and you're kind of on the fence of making new friends. And you've got 
you're gonna find yourself too alone if you just seclude yourself because i i do the same thing this is actually resonating with me a lot i've made a lot of i've, I've made a lot new friends in real life in the last like two months than i have in the last like three years i've kind of secluded myself off into my little healing journey and my own little world and finding who i am and I didn't have any in real life friends and I realized that and now they're all coming out and they're really good people but I'm scared to death I'm just like I don't I don't know about all this I don't know about all this you may have an um this could be a reading of you've got a new a, a new romance beginning but something is holding you back um you you are afraid to let your guard down in a friendship and maybe it's ooh i kind of just got to make maybe it's at work maybe with a maybe with a coworker i don't know i don't know um tower the tower upright all of these cards well the 5 of cups is reversed let's look at that really quick Forgiveness, emotional maturity, and recoverment. recovery. Facing disappointment is not easy, so be proud of yourself. You've done a lot of inner work, and you're now ready to release and move on. They talk it to us. Knowing what you don't want is the best way to figure out what you do want. If you're having trouble letting go, now is the time to face your shadow self head on. Oh, I'm glad I opened that. I'm glad I opened this. Bring your feelings to the surface so that you can get some closure and move on. Change, although uncomfortable, is sometimes needed to elevate that life. That was the Five of Cups reversed because sometimes I don't know. Like I want to be accurate about the reversed meanings. All right. <clears throat> and we have the Tower. Sorry, yes, sometimes I still have to look up my cards. I don't care. I'm learning. It's a learning process. You can learn with me. <laughs> Flash. <laughs> Fast as a bolt of lightning, your world has instantaneously, instantaneously shifted before your eyes. The tower is a card of sudden change, one that shakes the foundations of what you have built. It can be subconscious, like beliefs that have been established by your parents, or it can be literal, like a fire that has burned down your house. Regardless, the turn of events, I remember now, the Tower card is something, something traumatic and wild and just crazy is going on. This card is a rude awakening for you to transform your attitudes about previous beliefs. Hmm. Hitting me. Hit me in here. Salvage what you can from the wreckage and make a game plan to move forward. This is also a card of rebuilding after loss. Build yourself from the ground up. How will you handle this chaotic time? With grace and ease or raw emotion? Mm. They are attacking me today. Because I definitely just uh, let it all out last week wild who else who else anybody else if this resonates with you hit me up let me know <sighs> okay okay let's let's clean this out really quick let's clean this out it's cool it's cool it's cool Ooh. <laughs> all right so i would at the end of all my readings i like to pull a card which today's reading was brought to you by mystic monday tarot um a Deck for the Modern Mystic by Grace Duong. Duong. At the end of my readings, in case this is your first time, I also have my Rebel Oracle, the Oracle with Attitude Deck. Um, it just says go to rebeldeck.com. Um, it's your one-liners. It's your... I like to use it on my days where I just need somebody to just give me... Just tell me something. Tell me something quick, just like that. Tell me something quick, just like that. What do I need to hear? It's got one-liners. All the attitude, all the... Could just calls you out on your shit for it. Let's see. Take a fucking trip. Get the fuck away. Go see some shit. Do some new things and talk to people cooler than you. Get other... Getting other perspectives in your life, especially during a chaotic time, 
can be good and bad. You have to be able to uh, not be influenced by others' opinions and beliefs and things like that. But um, go get out, get out of your surroundings, change your surroundings, and get away. All right. <sighs> Happy Monday. Happy Monday, Moon Lover. Have a good ass day. Um, I'm gonna be posting these all week. I'm gonna try to do it daily. So that um, we can gain some traction up in here. Any support is great. Like if it resonates. Comment if it resonates. If it doesn't. Remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it didn't resonate with you at all, this message was just not meant for you. And you probably already dipped out if it didn't resonate at all. You're probably like, I'm not going to waste my time over here. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Anyways, I'm done rambling. I'm done rambling and... Have a good fucking week. Happy Monday.